Welcome to day two of a new gym journey. As you can probably tell, we are going to the gym at night. It was a very busy work day today, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to get everything I needed to get done before my usual gym time, which is usually around about 2.30 p.m. I thought maybe I'll go out around about 5.30, but then I just came to the realization that 5.30 is pretty much peak hour at any gym, and me recording and doing all these exercises when there's like so many people around, I think would not be the best way to go. So I waited, it's now 8 p.m., well, 10 to 8 p.m., and that's when we're going to the gym. Thankfully, it's a 24-7 gym. So I came to the realization yesterday as I was editing the very first video. A lot of the exercises that I did, with the exception of the chest press, were pull exercises. And I thought to myself, since I don't really do a plan or workout routine or anything of a such, I guess the best way to start would be just grabbing most of the pull exercises and just putting them into a specific day and then putting the push exercises into another day. And I was kind of planning in my head what I was going to do today. And I think that would be a good start to, I guess, making a routine or a workout plan and then just pick out a bunch of exercises for pull day, a bunch of exercises for push day, and stick to those kinds of exercises. So I guess I could make Monday and Wednesday push day, and I could make Tuesdays and Thursdays pull day, and then Fridays, as I mentioned before, is strictly leg day, because then I don't have work on the weekends, which I don't really need to use my legs. I am excited for tomorrow. I, I do enjoy leg exercises. I think they're a good challenge for me. Oh, I just realized it's Thursday, so everyone is at the mall today. Everyone's shopping today because the shops are open until 9 p.m. That explains why there are so many people up here. You, you're meant to stay on your lane, buddy. That, that, that's my lane. Do you know that? Doofus. Will I find parking? Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. God damn it, you found the parking spot before I did. You lucky son of a bitch. Oh, there's one right here. <laughs> Reverse parking. All right. Let's get the shit done. So I'm going to be starting off with 60 kilograms of the shoulder press. It's all good, man. I can feel how tired my shoulders still are from Tuesday. Still very sore from yesterday as well. So I bumped into my buddy Jacob on the way to the gym. As I parked, literally the car in front of me was his. And I knew it was his car because he's the only motherfucker that drives this car in the city. So I'm changing my grip for every set. That makes it two. Three to go. I'm very surprised that the gym is this busy, this late. Now, the reason why I changed my grip as well, it just it feels a bit more comfortable. Don't know 100% if there's like a good benefit to it or not, but it feels nice, so I can't complain. Damn, this feels heavy. <sighs> 
Come on, at least nine, bro. <sighs> I wanted to go for ten. But that last one took a lot. Might take it slightly easier on the next two sets. Don't know if I should or not. We'll see how I feel with this next set, and then if I feel like it's too tough, I might lower the wave of the last one. to get that last one but couldn't this hoodie is so much warmer than the other one get that eight really wanted to get that eight could not do it let's go to the next machine so the other machine that i like is taken so in the meantime i'm just gonna do this Machine I want is free now, but I want to finish the set. I want to put my camera in a better place, but I don't see anywhere I could put it where it's not going to be in the way of people, and I really don't want to disturb others. I suck at this head. I literally suck at this. Like fucking figure. Excuse me, bro. My apologies. Is it a pure coincidence that you're dressed like Minecraft Steve today? 
<laughs> How's your night been, man? Yeah, it's good. I feel like I'm rushing a little bit unintentionally because I'm anti to get the machine that's currently free. I guess I'm anxious about someone taking it before me, <laughs> which is not necessarily a good mindset to have when you're wanting to focus on form and performance. And speaking of which, how is my form with this? Um, when it comes to doing triceps, I usually prefer them like this. Let me crank out this last set and hopefully take the machine before someone else does. Probably could have done that a lot better. A bit upset with my performance on that one. Deltoid raise. Time to cry. Um, I think I was doing it with 30 kilos last time. I don't remember. I think it was. I think I might lower the weight just to focus on form a bit better and maybe try to go for a few more reps if I can. Try 27 and a half instead of 25. <laughs> Twelve, brother. Come on, come on, come on, motherfucker. I feel like I'm cheating a little bit with my form. It's like instinctively my body's trying to like lift itself from the chair. There's these two folks next to me doing pull-ups, and they look like they're having so much fun, and I love it, making me smile so much right now. Like they are thoroughly enjoying themselves, and I can't help but smile at that. Pardon me for a second. You two look like you're enjoying yourselves so fucking much, and I can't help but to smile at it. Honestly, you guys are fucking awesome. I appreciate you saying that, man. Fuck yeah. Honestly, you're making my night. I appreciate you, man. You're making my night. I feel like I made some friends. Can't you 
Pros and cons of the wide angle. I don't have to keep the camera so far away, but the quality is fucking garbage. <laughs> I do want to try going for 30 kilos on my last one at least, especially since I had such a long break period, such a long rest period when I was talking to those two folks. God, they literally made my night. Like, they look like they're having the time of their life coming to the gym, and that honestly just puts the biggest smile on my face. That's why I like this gym. Like, I've yet to have a single negative experience in this gym in the past three weeks that I've been here. God forbid I'll ever have a negative experience. Hopefully it's all good vibes with everyone that I meet, but... You know, there's always the off chance that you might bump into some douchebag. Don't let that one asshole be the reason why you're discouraged to see the 99 other positive experiences that you can get out of the place. Let's set. There's my body trying to cheat. <sighs> you know what? I'm only gonna count eight on that. Or like seven and a half, because some of those reps are shit. So after that machine, I actually prefer doing this as well. So I grab six kilos. And I do lateral raises for them. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. I think it's time to get rid of the hoodie because I am really warming up. <laughs> I'm just happy that I'm seeing like some of the friends that I've made here popping in and making new ones as well. I think I compromised my form a little bit towards the end there, but I think m they were mostly good, at least I hope they were. 
I feel a lot more energetic today, though. I think it's because I had a pre-workout snack. Got myself some plain Greek yogurt and a bit of oats. I think that did the trick. Brother, may I have some oats? No. <sighs> Come on, bro. <sighs> I feel like despite my enthusiasm, my head is not really in the game at the moment. I'm thinking too much about what I need to do when I get home, and I'm not really focusing too much on what I need to be doing right now, and I hate that. My mind is already thinking about like, oh yeah, I need to edit this video, I need to edit that video. my face on the camera after that one i'll probably look like i was shitting myself <laughs> okay let's go do those chests not my favorite way to do chest press but for days like this where i don't really want to use the bar and i don't want to like, keep nagging people to spot me and i'm kind of just also doing it just to you know do some more exercises i just go with this one i wanted to do the deadlifts but i thought probably just save it for monday when i start doing a better structure the chest press that i was doing on the bar was the bar's 20 kilos and it was 15 so 50 i think i can do 60 on this i think we'll give it a shot <sighs> oh, 
You know, it's funny that this is a chest press machine, but I actually feel a lot of tension on my shoulders. I'm very distracted today, and I think that's a problem. I should be more focused, but I still feel like I'm getting a good workout in. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Am I doing well in your guys' opinion? This will probably be my last exercise for the night. Probably wanted to keep going a little bit more, but I got some things on my mind that I feel like I need to clear up. So was that my fourth or my third? Shit. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll do two more. I'll try a different grip this time. See if I feel any different. Okay, with that grip, I felt more on my shoulders and more on my, like, in the midsection of my chest. Let me, let me have a look again. Hold on. Yeah, so I felt that on my shoulders, around this area, and I felt around here in my chest. It's strange because on this grip, I was feeling more of my back as opposed to my chest. I think I'm done for the day. Honestly, I can't imagine any other exercise I think I'd like to do at the moment. So let's find another corner to shack up and just talk for a little bit. I had a good exercise today. It was, it was quite enjoyable. I feel like I could have done better on some of the exercises, but I feel like my head wasn't in it. I'm happy that I did get to meet some cool friends as well as catching up with some old ones today. It's it's always nice to actually bump into friendly people and form some new friendships. One of the reasons I thoroughly enjoy coming to the gym, not just for the exercise, but for that sense of community that you build and the new friends that you can make. 
you know, it starts off with a friendship at the gym, and before you know it, you guys are like hanging out and getting lunch together, amongst other things. I wish I had my head in the game a little bit better today, but I feel like coming to the gym a bit late, and the reason why I came to the gym a bit late was because I had so much other stuff going on for today, kind of like deviated my train of thought a little bit. But I will note one big improvement of myself from yesterday to today. I'm feeling a lot more confident just having my camera and speaking to the camera at the gym. I'm not really minding the fact that other people are looking at me with giving me some looks and stuff. It's strange to see a guy with a microphone at the gym. I haven't really seen a lot of people do that in comparison to some of the gyms in the US where you see people doing that a lot more frequently. The few people that have noticed, like, they were super polite about the camera. Uh, some even came to ask me questions about it. Some of them even actually subscribed to my YouTube channel, which, that's fucking awesome. You guys are awesome. You know who I'm talking about. I appreciate all the love and support. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy the first video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. And I hope this will be a series that will bring a lot of joy and motivation and... Yeah. A lot of joy and motivation. <laughs> But thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. I really appreciate it, everybody. And I hope you're enjoying watching these series as much as I'm enjoying making it. With all this said and done, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow for leg day. Shit. <laughs> time to not walk for the weekend.